Hello everyone, today I'm working on these wheels uh, that I also bought and these are a slightly different model than the ones I did before because these have two um, thin ones and two thick ones for say a rear wheel drive car. So let me just take them out for you and organize my stuff. So let's look at the wheels uh, up close there. So these have a brake caliper, but no matter what you do with these wheels, the, the calipers will always spin with the wheels. That doesn't matter because the wheels are pretty nice looking and I'm going to put them on my car and it's going to help that car uh, quite a bit. And there's a thin one, there's also a thick one for a rear wheel drive car. So I'm going to show you my uh, experimental car here. We're going to do this Mustang. It's 07 GT500. So I'm going to open this up and pop the rivets so we can have a look inside. This is actually, it's a nice paint job. It doesn't need uh, any changes. I'm just going to swap out the wheels because it's going to be fun. So let me just pop the rivets. So this is what you get when you open up the Hot Wheels. You get the base, the interior, and the windows. So I had a little bit of a hard time uh, removing the, uh, the rivet there, but uh, I pulled it through. So the Hot Wheels are quite a bit bigger than my replacement. So I'm going to have to really pay attention to the stance of the car. Hot Wheels, ever since uh, 1968, they got it right. The cars uh, look amazing. And I need these wheels for another project, so I'm going to remove them carefully. So also provided with the kit is uh, axles for the wheels. So I need these, like I said, for another project. A nice uh, Corvette. These happen to look uh, very close to the Z06 wheels. So that's going to be great for that other car. And then this car has a... Uh, different axles than the one I did before so these let me just organize my stuff here to give you a few extra parts to give you actually uh, three axles and I'm gonna use this plastic container to organize my stuff so these you get three axles and you just put a little pin at the end to hold the wheel in and as you put the wheel on it it will just spin even with uh, the caliper there's nothing you can do about that they're just meant to be that way so I'm gonna measure um, the length of the axle compared to my base it, right, right off the bat, it seems a little long, but I'm going to see with the wheel and the body uh, what it ends up being like. So along with the axle in the kit, they provide you with a plastic pipe. And I believe that that's its purpose. You can slide it along there and you can uh, separate your wheels. So you make this as long as you need to. It'll help you separate your wheels from the uh, from the body so these will just ride in on this they won't go any further so 
So if I let it rest up against the frame, it looks completely wrong. It's way, way too inside. It should be at least like this. And for the height, it looks actually not too bad. I'm gonna put the front ones and we'll reevaluate this. Now the front wheels, they go way too far inside for sure. That won't be acceptable. So I'm gonna bring them out. I've got to bring them out quite a bit to be happy. And the same for the back ones. They gotta be out quite a bit. Now let's see for the, the height how I feel about that. So the front wheel looks okay for the height. Maybe I should bring it down just a little bit. I'm gonna see um, how much I can get away with bringing it, uh, bringing the suspension down a bit. It turns out that that is why they give you that tube. It's uh, to spread out the wheels. So that just goes over the axle so you can spread them out. Now I'm using the maximum uh, length. It's not quite wide enough for me. But let's just see how the car sits on it. And then maybe uh, that will be enough. And I'll be happy with that. If not, I'm gonna have to make my own uh, axles. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to make my own axles. I'm just not 100% happy with that. It's a little bit too skinny. So this is my final design that I came up with. They give you three axles. So I cut one of the axles. I cut a little extension that I can slip on on the end. And that will give me just enough to make the wheels stand out uh, properly. And then I slip my wheel and then I slip my uh, rubber sleeve over that. So the rubber sleeve, I made it into um, two sections. So here I have one joint at the end. And then the other joint will be in the middle for my uh, rubber sleeve. That is for keeping the wheels apart. And I can slip on my other wheel with the little pin. So that's going to be my front axle. And then I checked uh, the height. Everything is good. Here, I'll show you. Now my wheels sit just right, exactly like I wanted. And also for the height, everything's okay. Now back, my back wheels also look just right. And this is the way the car sits without any modification. And that looks pretty good to me, so I'm gonna leave it like that. Now I'm just gonna glue my axles uh, to the car. Now that my uh, wheels are glued, I'm just gonna bring my base in. And the base, I made some grooves so the axles could fit. This should just go on down there, nice and easy. And that's it. That looks pretty good now. I'll give you a close-up look. So it's just a regular Hot Wheels. But with these new wheels, it looks really cool. Hope you enjoyed the video, see you soon.